Hello folks and welcome back to Court Farm. Here we are in October still. I was going to go and skip ahead till the next day. However, we have got a great demand for sugar at Pine Creek stores. It's way above its recommended normal price of about 1600 per thousand litres. So, what I'm going to do now is fill up the sugar. And yeah, we're going to take that and set it. Also, you may have seen the mice gone down a bit. That's because, once again, I spent around 50 grand on eggs and milk for the cookie factory. Because, I said in that episode, we're prolonging the production chain. So, it just makes sense it does. It makes sense to spend the money so we can have more profit in the long run. Yep, per cycle we're losing money technically compared to if we just left it as it was but over the long run because we should have enough until around December, end of November into December so yeah that's why I've in particular gone for that and actually it's could be good for the cookies as well, but I'm going to do that. I'm going to be careful I'm not selecting the cookies or anything. So yeah, if we have a look here, we 64,000 litres of sugar. So yeah, so that is auto load is this site, so there we go. I should just take all that sugar. And yeah, we're still going to be producing sugar anyway, so it's not going to be an issue for us. As you see, that is absolutely just filling up. So yeah, I'm going to fill this up a sec. So just bear with me a few moments whilst it gets filled up, and then we'll go and sell these. And there we go. So <laughs> took a little bit longer than planned. Yeah, it was just taking forever for them to spawn the sugar. So. In total, we've got 70,000 litres of sugar. And also, what was I here waiting for that? I thought, heck it. Let's load up the trader of all of our cookies. So we've got 33, 42,000 litres of cookies. Man, that is a lot of cookies, that's for sure. And yeah, we're going to make a lot of money for those when we sell them in December. Well, I think for now what we'll do is we'll put the cookies in storage. Hopefully you don't have any issues with the pallets because God help us if that's the case. But yeah, I think what I'll do next time is just simply only spawn a couple at a time, move them in now because yeah we've already lost three pallets. Don't lose any more so I'm going to put that there for the moment. We also need fuel in that. Okay, the cookies are going in. They are accepted. That is good. There we go. That is good to see. So I was going to dump the tree here for now. And now if you have a look inside. 93 pallets out of 450 as cookies, so lovely jubbly. Now let's take the sugar and sell it. There we go, let's go and grab that. And we're going to Pine Creek Stores, which is by the BGA, so I'll see you there in a few moments. And here we are, so let's go sell the sugar and we should get. About 140 grand from this, so yeah, that is selling. And then what we'll do with the money is for one, we want a new lorry, so because yeah, holding stuff is putting wear and tear on our tractors and that, especially as we're getting to the high hours, like like John Deere, that's already got 37 hours on it, and if we save an hour or two from holding and use an actual lorry I think that would be the best thing for us so yeah just down a little bit there 12,000 litres 
and yeah, look at that, we're already at a quarter of a million. There we go. That's a bit. That is a hundred and fifty-two grand almost. Wow. That ain't a bad haul, so you know what? Let's go get some rest. I'm gonna order a lorry and I'll see you folks in the morning with what we have gone with in the end. And there we go, so we've got our new lorry. So let's have a look at this. This is the man 33414. And we also got the Flegal flatbread flatbread <laughs> flatbed semi-trader. And if we have a look here, so we'll go to our own equipment truck. So yeah, 414 horsepower, so not the most powerful, but I think it really should do just fine for us. And also we've got the flatbed semi-trader, so that does have the option for bales and that. So for now, what we're going to do is just leave it here stored up. Right against... I should shut this right. Oh, did you realize we can... Oh, did not realize we can do that with the ramps. But yeah, I'll try to say... Where have we got a press washer from, but... Yeah, can we shut these? Because I think we can. No, I don't want that. I want to... Shut that. Oh, I'm not sure, but yeah, so anyways... Yeah, we've got the trailer here. Oh. That's come up a little swifty. Can we amend that? There we go. So now that is all lined up. But yeah, you know what? We'll just leave that there for now. And we'll move on, so... We've also spent money on just purchasing some more milk, so we've got 64,000 litres of milk now. And basically, what I'm going to do is just keep on buying until we've run out of flour and that, so... Obviously, that like your flour and milk, if we have a look. We don't use milk for that, but we do use milk to make chocolate and all that, so... We'll let's make sure we have enough chocolate. We're fine for butter for the time being, but once they run out, that's it. No more cookies for us, but as far as we've got a lot of cookies, and I did initially buy another one of these. So I was hoping to you will sell some more flour, not flour, sell some more sugar at the top price. But if we have a look, literally it was fine at its peak price in the morning, but this just used to be hit 9 o'clock, it went straight down, I was like, ah, come on, should have been quicker on that, but anyways, we got 42,000 litres for the time being, yeah, not sure what we exactly do that with that, but, anywho, we need to go back to the farm, because we need to do fertilising, and we need to sort out getting the wheat and oats in the ground now, because we're at the end of the deadline for the winter wheat and that. I think, yeah, cause I think October is the deadline, right? Well, we can go to November, but we want to get it in now, so we will sort that out. <coughs> Turn times back on times two, times two, three for the time being. But yeah, so let's go back to the farm, get everything all hooked up and sorted. And let's go and fertilize and seed our fields. So with the John Deere A410 here, we've got the cultivator, this arrow here. And also down here we've got our seeder that we did place in last episode. So yeah. The plan is gonna be this field is gonna be oats. And field 110 is gonna be wheat. Oops, we got away. Come on, just I'll give you more room. Oh, selfish. That's lovely. As I was saying, yeah, this is going to be oats. One ten is going to be wheat. 
So that's purely meat is for like the flour and that and the oats. It's gonna be for the cookies maybe. We may do some oat maybe some oat raisins if we get some vines in, but yeah, I'm not sure on that part yet. But anywho, get it lowered. There we go. So yeah. We have a look here at our fertilizing seats. We need to fertilize all of these fields here. Get this seat cultivated and seeded, and then just seed field 110. If I'm correct, yep. So yeah, that ain't gonna take us too long. Maybe an hour or so. So yeah, let's get all this done. And I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here. There we go, so we have put the oats in. Now we're putting wheat into field 110. And yeah, that took a lot longer than planned. I thought, ooh, in the time for a time lapse now. We'll have everything done, but nope. So yeah, we had issues with fertilizing. So we'll have a look at that in a sec. But yeah, basically what it is is that if we have a look, actually for now. Yeah, we'll stop there for now. We'll go back to that in a sec. So if we go to our map, there we go. Look at fertilized. There's bits that we couldn't fertilize because yeah, the grass needs to grow. But anyways, that field is fully fertilized and we already previously fertilized this field, so that ain't gonna be an issue for us. But yeah, so just confirm it's oats because we did have issue issue of actually putting grass in but yeah went over that down here and sorted out so yeah i am excited especially well sort of come back onto this after the release of gta 6 trailer boy 
Yeah, I was just about to get ready to go to bed, and what's well, so on now? I thought pop onto YouTube down on my smart TV. Whilst I was in bed, you know, flicking through, see who's on in that, see like videos and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, so like some of the content creators I follow, like Sonny Evans and that. I saw, oh, GT6 trailer leak reaction. I thought, okay, is that just like a clickbait thing or what? But no, actually, it leaked like 13 hours early. And yep, yeah, it's a 90 second trailer. It's coming 2025, if I had to guess. Maybe either March or April 2025 or November, like October, November ish time. And that's just simply based on like every other GTA game apart from GTA 4. That's coming out October ish, November ish time. With the exception of GTA 4, when that all came out around February, March ish time, so who knows? Could be like a financial year, like. 2025 in terms with it ends in like it's April to March fiscal year, so it could be yeah, early 2025 in the first quarter or so. But who knows? I'm excited and yeah, the details of it. Like, I've looked into that, I think, free stream a few bits, and yeah, I'm optimistic. Hopefully, he's going to be. A huge thing, guaranteed to be one of the best games of all time. Certainly, as I'm recording this bit now, it is broken Mr. Beast record for the most viewed non-music video on YouTube in 24 hours. Like currently, like 75, 76 million views. But yeah, that is just absolutely crazy. But anyways, back on to farming, so yeah, we're going to do wheat here. Once we've done this heaven, I'm going to get the work off on this, because we do have some money. And yeah, I'm thinking, generally it's time to sell the horses. Yep, yeah, I was going to wait till, you know, next year to do it. But yeah, I'm thinking, sell the horses. So the pasture now, get a little bit of money from the pasture now. So yeah, there we go, let's get a worker off on that. There we go. So yeah, let's go to our horses. So yeah, go to the animal dialer box. And yeah, considering everything we've been doing, like buying all the feed and that. Yeah, that was pretty much worthless in the end. Anyway, so we need to remove this. Ah, we need JCB perhaps. Where's that too? No, oh, that's here. So yeah, grab the John Deere to get everything removed. So yeah, I'm thinking also you can't remove the actual physical pens itself. You can sell the troughs and that, and the triggers, but... Okay... Well, so, yeah, that was a bit of a long break in there, so... But yeah, I'm thinking, obviously, we can put productions in here, but... Given the space off the gate here... Yeah, it ain't gonna work, unless we lift stuff out now, but... Oh, I don't know. Tempted, but yeah, I think what we do is just go and put some more apple trees on because, as we know, the apples are absolutely just huge. Like, financially wise, it's just incredible. So, yeah, we'll put the low loader in there. But, yeah, with the apple juice itself, we can, or the apples, we can transfer them over, but. I think, depends on how much we can get put down. If we can get a few down in here, then... Because obviously, with Court Farm Country Park, it's not going to be like your industrial area and that. that that's the last thing, it's not designed for that, simply. And actually, what we can do with these oats is take them down and make some cookies. You know, some little cheeky... 
oat cookies. Sure, why not? We can do that. So let's go and set you to go to here. There we go. So our worker's going to do that. Off it goes. So yeah, we'll go to this free dung pile. We get 2200 from it. So yeah, that removes the troughs and the triggers. So to have a little bit of poop left over. But hey, that could be, you know, like your natural fertilizer in a way. So we can go to our orchards. And actually, one thing I will do temporarily, in case we do decide, you know, to actually collect these the interactive markers. So yeah, I'm thinking just place a bunch of these down. Because what these can do is you know the locals they can come by and pick them so you know they pick apples there we go actually if I do down along here then we can just go a line across afterwards so there we go so yeah this is going to be a bunch of apples there we go so yeah let me just quickly get these placed down and then we'll come back and see how it looks afterwards and yeah i think that actually looks quite nice so yeah if we shut the gate like how many we've got we've got three along here four we got so much place down here, so actually we can have a look here at our productions tab. And that is 24 new apple trees to be put down. And yeah, what I'm going to do is set those to sell. And also we're going to do the same with our other, like was it 15 or so we've got here? Because yeah, we've got tons of apples at the moment, so... So yeah, I think we're just going to set everything to sell. Obviously, they require water, but thankfully we've got a distribution thing. There we go. Just want to keep those. There we go. Because, yeah, that's going to bring us some huge amount of money in. Because, yeah, we don't need any more apples in the production for the time being. And yet we're going to get the average price and 80% of it, but still, I think we've got enough productions and enough pallets as it is at the moment, so losing a bit of money, technically, I am not too worried about that. But yeah, I'm thinking, oh, we're going to get a lot of money from this, so we'll skip ahead time here. Go to one o'clock. I was gonna get too much money in, but everything now should have water, and actually, it has that affect our water distribution? So, because do we need to top that up now? Yes, we do. So, we'll get on to that, but yeah, that's gonna be for another time, but just for laughs. We're at 3,200. 3, Let's skip ahead just one hour. One hour in a quarter of a month. And that is a lot of money there. It's like, what, 1,600 quid we earned there. So, yeah, I think that's going to be worth it. So, everything in here worth. Uh, Funny enough, that's popped up again. And workers had issues, so oh, let's go and put these oops in ourselves because, like, how? I know it hasn't got a great turn in the circle, but God. Anywho, yeah, let's quick get in and then we'll resume the planting of the wheat. And 
hand, here we are with the oats, because, yeah, the oats to cookie ratio is a 1 to 9, so we should get about, about almost 18,000 litres, about, yeah, 17,000 litres of, no, sorry, no, if it's a 1 to 9, we just put 2,000 litres in, so yeah. Actually, yeah, I'm right there, so... But yeah, oh, 42,000 litres of sugar. That's the thing, there is a new sugar production that's just come out, but... I think we're gonna start relaxing off, like, start calming down with the... All the production stuff we've been doing, like, we've got cookies... And yeah, we've got another 24 apple trees in, so... Yeah, I think we're good for the time being, if not the remainder of this series at least, so... Where is that to the... there we go. Alright, it's done an okay job, I'm guessing. But yeah, so let's do a quick time lapse, get all this done, and I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here. Done. Now, what we're going to do is we're just going to roll these two fields. So, yeah, this one here for the oats and the wheat fields. We're just going to get them rolled. Even though I haven't really been too keen on rolling when it comes to the grass, but essentially it's going to be a quick crop. And with how much we're doing, yeah, I'm not too fussed about in terms with, oh, yeah, we need to make sure everything's all sorted. But, for at least with our actual grains and our natural crops and that itself. We're still going to do rolling because that 5% will make a difference. Especially with the oats because, yeah, we'll do some oats and that. Maybe even do like a small vineyard, you know, nothing too over the top I'm going to be doing with, most like with, not Court Farm, with Muma Sand and Survival Challenge, but, you know, just get a couple of strips of grapes in. And yeah, even though yeah, if we can get a harvester on the second hand market, that'd be nice. But there are some vineyard packs, and I think there is a cheaper, a way cheaper pull behind harvester. If that's the case, yeah, we can look into that. But yeah, when can we plant grapes? It's going to be next year, right? Yeah, March, so... Who knows, that could be something we'll look into. But anyways, I will continue on this, and we're going to leave, leave it here for today. So yeah, next time what we'll be doing is get the rest of this finished off. And yeah, I think we'll start skipping ahead some months. And yeah, I think we'll perhaps next time we'll see each other is when we 
are doing site work, yeah. Because, yeah, we need to do the site issue now. At some point, so, yeah, around November, if not December. But yeah, so anyways, as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, very choose to do. Hope you have a nice day. For now, it's before we're on Envoy Street. And I'll see you all very soon.